Meanwhile, addressing traffic safety in the Star City, Roanoke's Vision Zero project aims to have zero fatalities or serious injuries on city streets come 2035. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich shows how the city wants to hear from citizens throughout the week. It's no secret the city of Roanoke strives to be biker and pedestrian safe. And come 2035, the hope is for every city street to have zero traffic deaths and serious injuries. It's called Vision Zero, a safety action plan aimed at improving safety for drivers, bikers, and walkers. This week is all about community engagement for the project, listening to neighbors and their concerns. What are the things that you tend to hear about what people want to see addressed in the city when it comes to traffic safety? So I'd say the number one thing that we hear from residents is, they, is about speeding. They want traffic to be slower, especially in their neighborhoods, around parks, around schools. This is an urban environment, so there's a lot of pedestrian activity, so motorists driving slowly, pedestrians crossing carefully. The data speaks for itself. In the past five years, Roanoke has seen over 8,500 traffic crashes, and over 300 of them have been fatal or resulted in serious injury. But besides the quantitative data, consultants need to hear firsthand accounts of issues. Why is it important to do that? Not just look at the data, but hear from people who travel these streets day in, day out. Absolutely. It, 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 um, so we describe the safe system approach that we're using as a data informed or data driven approach. And for us, the data we gather from the crash analysis is only half the story. The data we gather from the community is the other half, because as you said, the lived experience of people in the community can tell us an awful lot about not just where crashes are, have happened in the last five years, but where people feel unsafe. The Vision Zero team plans to visit some of the problem areas like Williamson Road and Melrose Avenue this week during on-site walk audits. The goal is to have an action plan presented to City Council within the year. In Roanoke, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.